Hi guys, thanks for joining me. This little sort of tutorial slash how to is for our birdie masks and what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm not going to necessarily take you through each step of creating the actual birds because there is a video on our channel which is called the round robin and that's using exactly the same template so I'll pop a little link somewhere for that video and then you can refer to that to actually filling the basic template so what we're going to focus on in this tutorial are the actual masks themselves so all of these masks are designed to fit with the basic birdie template and as I just mentioned this originally launched as the robin template so if you purchased the robin template or the round uh, round robin kit combo or the trio of robin kit then you will already have this template so it's exactly the same template and then all of these masks have been designed to fit with these templates this one for example is the blue tip mask and as you can see they fit inside so what we're going to do in this tutorial is i'm going to go through each individual um, sort of bird variation that we have and show you how to combine the fibers what colors go where there is also a pdf which takes you through each one of the uh, the birds so we will touch on those during the tutorial as well and we will hop straight in and start making our basic birdie so this is the fourth and uh, final birdie that we're going to be making which is the bullfinch and once again you will have a pdf which will give you the weights and measures weights and measures for your basic birdie template and then the ones specific for the bullfinch mask i opted to do the base layer in sort of a either a white or an off-white and then you've got your accent colors which are black white and storm and then we we have a breast color which is this color and that's a, a sort of a hand blend that we're going to do as well so refer to your um, you know as with the other birdies just refer to your uh, pdf for uh, which color goes where so i'm going to start with an off-white base so again for filling in the basic birdie template refer to the round of robins uh, tutorial and that will tell you um, how to fill this template so I'm not doubling up on the information and dragging the tutorial out too long so pop your mask once you've got your base layer pop your mask on your base layer and then do your PDF we've got black here we've got that hand blend white storm and then black on the tail again so black the storm goes in here, the white goes in here, that lovely hand blended red goes in this section and then we've got black again at the front. So I'm going to start this side and work my way across. And to do that, I'm going to start with just a little bit of black, draft off, roll it up just loosely get my lightest needle now these sections are quite big so what I'm going to do is we're not looking to fill these I'm just looking to give myself a really nice edge down on this this sort of side so I'm going to anchor anchor my wall just there I'm going to leave this little frizzy bit because there's a bit of a gap and I'm going to need that to go over to the end and then just light fibers all the way up to the top there I'm just going to chop off that little bit take my template out and you can see we just get a really nice line 
use up those little frizzy bits at the end just to take us all the way to the edge. There we go. So that's the first line in. The next bit I'm going to grab is Storm. And again, just a light roll. And I'm going to be using this edge to follow. So again, up at the top, give myself a little bit of an anchor. And then just follow that edge round. I'm going to need a tiny little bit more. And just follow that edge all the way up to the top. And all we're doing right here is just putting down those lines so we can see where we need to colour in. So again, I'm just going to use that end frizz just to go up to the edge. A little bit of a wiggle. So there, now we've got a black tail. So I'm going to grab a little bit of black and I'm going to come off of the grey and just go round. There. Just throw that over there. <laughs> there we go. We've got a white bit down here. So this uh, this sort of area here is all of the red. So I'm, what we're going to do now is make that lovely sort of um, red and white hand blend colour. What I have done for this is... I have weighed myself out 0.5 grams and 0.5 grams of each colour. And to make a hand blend, you can use carders um, or you can, um, you can use sort of dog brushes. I'll show you the hand blend. And to start hand blending, you stack your fibres on top of each other and then you pull and then you stack and pull and stack and pull and stack and you just keep going turn it through 90 degrees pull stack pull stack and it is just a repetitive process until your fibers are really nice and mixed up and the more obviously that you pull this is quite choppy and quite blocky but the more that you do it the more the fibres will blend and spread and you will end up with this really nice sort of um, well, red and white mixed. It does take a little while to do as a hand blend. So I won't sit here for you know five minutes blending this one little bit up. Um, in fact, I will perhaps grab my little carding brushes you can see that it's starting it's starting to blend and it's just about you know pulling out the blocks of color and just really kind of just keep going and going and going and eventually it will all be blended <laughs> But it takes a lot of time. Carding brushes are a lot quicker. And, um, you know, for small bits like this, you can absolutely use um, dog brushes. This is going to take a little while. <laughs> I'll just break up any real sort of blocks. It's, it's getting there. You can see it's, it's a bit ropey at the moment. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my carding brushes and also show you the process with that as well. So here 
I've weighed out myself another sort of 0 0.5 grams of each of the colours and I can't find my small little dog brushes at the moment so I'm going to have to do it on my hand carders. When you're using the carder you just want to draft out a little bit of your fibre and then a little bit of the white then go back to a little bit of the red and yeah we're just gonna mix it up and I'll put it on the close-up camera but you can see you've got all of these wires and if you look for the dog brushes that have those sort of bent wires and now if you're using hand carders don't just put it in and try to pull them like that um, it's more of that let's do it on the overhead it's more that kind of motion so you're not trying to just pull because that will be disastrous it's a, that sort of rocking motion these carders are perhaps a little bit big I'm trying to use on the camera but You can see it's already mixing it up very, very quickly. It doesn't take very long. And I move my carders about so that I'm picking up different bits of fibres. And you can see that, you know, just after a couple of passes with the carder compared to the hand sort of blending, and for small bits like this, um, to be honest, little dog brushes are absolutely great. I think mine are packed somewhere for a shine <laughs> that I'm getting ready for, so I don't know where they are at the moment. But that, if you can have a look on the close-up cam now, that's about what we want. A nice, a nice mix of those colours there and you can see there's the hand blended one you can absolutely get it to this point it just takes an awful lot of hand blending so now we've got our nice colour I'm going to draft off a little bit of it that's all we really need and we're just going to put in this final line down here so again a loose a loose sort of roll between the fingers and a light needle I'm going to come on the outside of that grey there and that is pretty much our colours or our sections for our colours laid down inside the template so all we have to do now is go through and colour it in so I'm going to start with this lovely red and white blend small pinches don't want too much. Uh, yeah, we don't want too sort of too much bulk. Can always add a little bit more, so get a nice even covering. Yeah, and you can if you put down just a thin covering, you will still see some of this base colour coming through as well. This is entirely, um, you know, your choice as to how opaque you make your colouring. There we go. Again, I'm doing this 
full speed. But there, that's a nice cover for the red. What I'm going to do now is bring in my multi punch and just bounce, not driving through the project. And all that's doing is that's just compacting these fibres and felting them down. I mean, if you're doing a single sided project, you absolutely can, you know, give it a bit of welly. But particularly if you're on your second side of doing a double sided birdie, you really want to go very lightly with your needles. OK, so that's the red down. Now what I'm going to do is come and put in a little bit of this storm colour, which is just up in this section here. And again, just follow that line. That's perhaps a little bit much. Let me pull some of that off. And again, first barb, very lightly compacting the fibres, a tiny little pinch more. You just want to make sure that you've got some nice edges. Again. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And finally, we need to put in our black sections. So I'm going to start at the tip of his beak. And then work over I mean you can uh, one of the reasons I know this little bit down here is the only bit of sort of whitey off-white color on the whole bird so it's like why make the entire base out of that color and I always I find that it's better to work uh, to, to lay down darker coloured fibre over the top of uh, lighter coloured fibre. Because if you made your base black, when you put down this white, it, it does kind of dull it. So, which may be, uh, you know, what you want in your sort of vision of the project. But generally, I find that I work better um, light base and then put darker colours down over the top. So almost done this bit now. Just run round with my needle and again just making sure that we stay in those lines. little bit of light compacting with my multi punch and finally to the tip of his tail like so and then back fill to that grey then around and there. Obviously, again, I'm doing this for speed, but it'll take a little bit more time. So That's our colours in place. Very roughly, of course. Again, 
as with all of the other birdies, you're going to want to put in your edges, and your edges will be whatever colour um, is in that section is what you will need to do your edge. So obviously the colour will change as you go around. Your birdie here, will, you'll go around in grey. Here you'll go around in black. And to put in your edges, get a little bit of the colour that is in that section. Overlap it and felt it right on that edge, like so. And make sure you've got a good attachment all the way around. And then you'll have you know, this fluff coming off of the bottom. Then what you do is turn your template over, turn your birdie over, and as you push him down into the template, all of your fluff will come up around the edge, and then you can very lightly felt it down on the back. And if you're doing a double-sided birdie, you probably want to do one side, put in your edges, and then do the other side. But there, now you can see that we've got a nice wrap of colour around. And if you needed to add in a little bit more, you can do that. So that's our sort of body colour done. There. So now we're going to do the wing. And to do that, you're going to need your base wing colour again and then refer to your sheet you've got storm black white and black right so grab your little wing mask and pop him in and you can see it's just very easy sections Grab your, I'm going to grab some storm colour. Sorry, I'm going to grab some black. Not storm. There we go. And run that around there. And there we've got our very nice line. Take that to the edge. I'm just going to nip that off there. Pop it back in. In fact, I will just take a tiny little touch more. Just take that out to that edge as well. Then I'm going to grab another little bit of black. And go in that slot there. And again, that gives us those two very nice lines. Apologies for the camera change there, the postman knocked at the door. <laughs> so, okay, so we've, I've put in my two, um, my two black, black lines there. So this section here is uh, white, we've got black here and we've got black here. Now, you may notice that there is no line up here and there was a very good reason for that. And that was that we decided to put the, the um, storm bit on the top after we made the templates. <laughs> 
So this is an optional extra. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how you can do that really easily with the temp with the mask that you have. So if you are doing a double sided birdie, you're going to make to you're going to want to make both of these wings um, at the same time. And remember, if you're doing a double sided birdie, you want one wing right side this way and one wing right side that way. So to do that last little bit at the top, what you're going to do is you're going to use this part or this curve of the mask. So what you do is you take one wing, you line up that bit of the mask with that bit of the black and then just decide where or how far down. Um, grab yourself a little bit of storm and you can go, well, I'm, I want the storm uh, sort of section to sort of come round here and curve up round to there. So I'm going to put that little bit of fluff there as just a little mark. And then what you do is you take your mask, you put that bit on the black there, and then you put that bit on your dot there. Then grab yourself a bit of storm, rolly rolly, and holding your mask in place, felt down your line and you can see now that that just simply gives you your little section. Now because if you're doing the two you're going to want them in the same place. This point we know is fixed but this is the variable point that you decide when you put in. So when you have another wing what you do is you pop, let me grab, uh, let's see, I don't have any spare wings Oh no. Okay, we'll pretend that this one is another wing. So line up your wings and then you transfer where that mark is there onto this wing. And that will pretty much give you exactly a matching pair of wings. So that's how to put in. You can just do this whole bit black if that's your preference. But if you want to do um, this sort of grey, um, this grey section at the top, that's how to do, how to add in that, that sort of third mark. I'm um, getting myself in a muddle. Right, there we go. So what I'll do now is I'll grab a bit more Storm and pop it up and colour in the Storm area up here. And again, obviously, once you've got all of your colours in, you're going to want to go round and do those edges exactly the same um, as, um, as we did on the body. Let's put some fibres in and go round and do the black. And, you know, don't be limited, you know, to just... You know these birds there are um, other birds that people have done as well have a look in our facebook group uh, which is facebook.com slash groups slash mums makery and you know there's there's all different kinds of birds coming through on posts and you know people sort of sharing their makes so i'm almost done with this bit now the home stretch as they say just this little black tip of his wing to put on and when you're doing your bases for any of these birds um, don't think that you have to felt them super crisp um, you know you don't as you're going to be adding in colors and stuff you want it to be a little looser 
So I will declare that done for now. And you'll tidy up these fibres so that you don't have sort of, you know, stray black hairs or whatever over your nice white felts. There we go. I'll grab my multi-punch and do that bouncing technique. That will really sort of flatten it down, help really sort of bring those colours together. Catch any sort of stray bits. So there, there's the wing. Again, I would go around and put in the edge exactly the same as uh, the body. Get yourself a little bit of fluff. Felt it along the edge. Nice and firm. And then grab your wing template, turn it over. Push your wing down, bring that fluff over the back. And obviously your wings aren't double-sided. Um, although I have seen uh, some people make uh, mini birds from the wing template. So they've used the wing as the, the sort of body shape. So if you want to make a, a mini bird... And there you can see that you've got that nice sort of wrap over of colour. And again, refer to the um, uh, refer to the round robin tutorial for sort of making these. So this guy just needs his eye, I've noticed. And the eye on here, um, there's not sort of a it's a bit of a personal preference. So what you can do is you can, I generally do the eye about half halfway um, in between. And you can mark on your template, for example, um, just give yourself a little, I don't know, a little mark of some kind, or maybe a little pen or something like that. And, you know, you can give yourself a little eye mark. So you, you can sort of expand on what these templates are doing for you to customise them even further, you know, for your personal preference. But to make an eye, uh, what I will do is, first off, I'm going to decide where my eyeball is going to go. And you don't, uh, you don't have to felt um, an eye. You can actually use one of those um, really nice little, black teddy bear eyes and I would say that this is probably maybe about six or eight mil uh, in diameter so but eyeball get some black and you don't need much but again it's not weighable it's a very small amount maybe 0.05 maybe less but you want to roll yourself a little ball and if you find that you know that's too big then pull some fibers off and re-roll it but you pop him back down in there for a second and carry on rolling your eyeball and I put it about halfway so it's just, just above the middle of the beak. And just felt round that ball so you've got a nice... Uh, I know it's black on black now so you won't see it over here but we're going to do this nice round white bit. And to do that, get yourself a bit of fibre and roll it really nice and tight. And then you're going to anchor it down and as we felt around the eye you're going to twist and that twisting will give you a really nice 
sharp line. Don't over twist because if you over twist you see what happens. So just a nice light twist and then a few stabs round. Nice light twist. And you can see it does give you that really, really nice line. Almost there. And then come back over where you started. And you can see you've got this gorgeous, lovely line all the way round. So take your snippy scissors, snip off, and then just felt those, those ends in. First barb, really light. There, you can see you've got lovely, nice circular eye now. And the last little thing to do is a tiny little light dot in his eye. And it's literally a few hairs. Give yourself a little bit of a roll. You can see it's tiny, teeny tiny, little tuft. And just using a few barbs. When you start felting it down, a lot of the wool will disappear into the eye. So you do need it slightly bigger um, than the end sort of light dot that you need. But there, there's his little light dot. It's going to be going round after and tidying up all of my edges but there we go and then you bring in your wing pop on your wing and attach that all the way round I sort of attach this part and leave this a little freer you can puff it up a little bit and attach it you can stuff a little bit of extra wool in there to make it a little bit more puffy you can build up his belly take you know these sort of colors underneath and sort of give him a little bit more of a belly there's so many things and so many ways that you can go with this guy and you know here we've gone a little bit more freehand um, this is a single sided birdie so you know we've just taken a little bit of artistic license the um, the red and white pan blend on here it's lighter so if you want a lighter one, do, you know, 0.5 grams of white, 0.25 grams of the red. And it's really about playing with the colours as well. So that is the, that or that is all of the basic birdies that we have um, to show you today. Here are some, what we put on, uh, sort of some little, bun, you know, hessian bunting and... You know, there's your bullfinch, there's your wren, there's your little blue tip there, there's your goldfinch, and you know, there's a little blackbird as well. I mean, obviously, there's no um, mask for him, he's all black, <laughs> so it's just again, same eye technique, but then you're just putting. Uh, I think this is our, even, I think this is our marigold colour, and you know, just putting a little circle of of marigold around the eye, giving him a little bit of a beak, and that light dot, and you've got yourself a blackbird, as well. So I'll pop a few more pictures up on screen, as well. I do hope that you have enjoyed the video. Do give the video a thumbs up and do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you hit that little bell icon that'll tell you when we upload new videos. So that's the basic birdie. Please do come and share your mates with us over in our Facebook group. That's www.facebook.com slash groups slash mums makery. So that's it from me and the basic birdie. I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I wish you all a very crafty day. Mm -hmm.